What's up guys, my name is Jess. We're gonna go through five core breeding tips and some bonus tips at the end. Let's go. Tip one, have an empty inventory. This is so that when you pick up the eggs from the breeding farm, you have a lot of room to work with. And then you will be patching them into an incubator. Also have a chest dedicated for your stuff so you just know where it is. Tip two, place the pal that you plan to ascend into your pal team. This way you can easily access it instead of having to go through all of your pals, blah, blah, blah. It's right up there, one of the five, buddy. One of the five. And then you just slap in the condensation. Sorry, condensing, not condensation. This ain't no weather channel. Okay, let's move on. Tip number three, perfect breeding. When you want to have as high of a chance for perfect breeding possible, you need to have the same identical passives. They have to be identical. It doesn't matter if they're in different places. They have to be identical. Male and female must have the identical passives to uh, ensure the highest chance at breeding. I've, I've, I went from, I think, one in like 30 eggs of having not the identical passives um, to having about, I think, five eggs out of 30 eggs having the perfect breeding passives or per perfect uh, combat or perfect workflow passives, whatever. Perfect speed passive, perfect mounting passives, and whatnot. Tip number four, you want to have an efficient workflow. Egg incubator, power condenser, and the conveyor belt, level 54, in the centralized location of all of your breeding uh, farms as much as possible. Then slap the eggs in there. See if you get a good pal with good passives. Go to the conveyor belt, lock the bad boy, so that you don't have to go straight down into your annoying pal box to find them, okay? It's the same exact layout, and then label him, lock him, perfect worker, whatever. This way, you won't accidentally pop him into the conveyor belt or accidentally ascend him, okay? Now that you have him locked, you can't put him in. You cannot put him in. You can put everyone else in, but you can't put the locked ones in, okay? This is, this is core to the breeding process. Tip five, storage chests. This is imperative for when you're power breeding. Power breeding is known as when you slot in pals with philanthropists so that they get additional 200% breeding speed. But then here's the deal. If you're running 10 farms, you gotta pop these bad boys into these chests, okay? You really need to because you go from farm to farm to farm to farm, you have all these eggs in your inventory and they need to go somewhere, right? You can't just, because the hatching speed is slower than collecting multiple eggs from multiple farms and whatnot so yeah just start putting them in the chest and make your life easier all right bonus tip number one use signs to dictate what kind of breeding style you have if it's philanthropist on male and female put in spam okay put in power breeding whatever it's called i don't know just so that you don't accidentally ascend the wrong one right uh, okay, number two, you want to have storage chests inside the breeding farm. This is so that you can, you know, I talked about this earlier, just grab the eggs, put them in. This is also for reverse. Okay, if you want to fast withdraw, you use take all. Okay, moving on. Number three, four, five, I don't know where we're on. It takes 106 pals to fully condense a pal up to four stars. This means you need six pal, uh, sorry, six farms, technically six farms. Of the same identical pal, I like a mega philanthropist, and you are gonna get them all within like an hour. Okay, so the next part is gonna go kind of fast, so I encourage you guys to pause it. It's gonna talk about passive skills and um, similar stuff like that. All right, let's go. Dark pals do not need nocturnal. When it comes to normal pals, you're gonna slap on nocturnal in place of nimble. Right here, you see a Mach 50 freaking hell zephyr going so fast. Um, they are one of the better pals in my opinion, but Wumples are one transport level higher with level 4, ascending to level 5. And uh, when it comes to base pals, you want to rock Lucky Artisan works even Nocturnal. When it comes to non-element combat, the Trad plus Legend. When it comes to non-element, you can go Trad plus Element or Muscle Serenity Legend and an Element. When it comes to AFK Grazers or the Farmers, you can go Double Sanity and Artisan and Nocturnal. Work Speed does have a factor, so you know if it doesn't work for you, you want maxed out, then go to these perks instead. All right, 
Okay, so how you get the perfect pal passives, you need to find pals and lock them slash favorite them in your pal box that have the ideal pal passive for the combat, the ones on screen, except for legendary. For uh, base, you want artisan, nocturnal, work slave, and workaholic or diet lover. Um, or serious. Uh, so essentially, you in, when you're breeding, you need a pal that has one or more of the passives and breed it with another pal that has a different passive, and then you get a new combination. The triad, you want to go for the triad. Serenity, Musclehead, and Ferocious. And for the other one, just try to get the all four of the base pals. And then you get duplicates of them. You get duplicates. So you get a male and female with the same identical four slash three ideal perfect pal passives and then you breathe them together and then you have a heightened chance to get the new one the, to get the option that has a higher chance at success okay a, a higher chance at succeeding towards you know the most ideal passive skills so with that being said all you got to do is just breed 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 until you get the perfect pal passives on the breedable uh pals that you can then use for further breeding Okay, so I hope you guys have found this guide helpful to you. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!